All right, one of the students sent this question to me and told me it's a Cambridge interview question and asked me to try it out. All right, so I decided to make a, this video to explain about how to do this kind of question. So my first idea is in order to solve this kind of question, right? My idea is, um, is it possible to make uh, whatever inside the square root here into something bracket square? All right, so if I can make it into a bracket square, then square and square root, I can cancel out, then this one will be my final answer. Okay, so if well, I want to make this one, right, uh, my idea is, is it possible to simplify this one into the A minus B square? Okay, so if A minus B square, we have a formula for it, isn't it? It's A square uh, plus B square minus 2AB, isn't it? Okay, so from here, I know a square and b square both also will give me the integer uh, or we call it whole, whole number we will get a whole number isn't it because no matter i have the square root or that i have square root whenever i square it it will just give me the whole number so I, over here i will assume my a plus b a square plus b square i mean is equals to 220 and then i will just assume the two, negative 2ab is equals to the negative 30 square root 35. If this one is possible, because sometimes it's not possible to expand like this, or the number will become even more complicated. All right, so right now, if I if my assumption is correct, so what I want to do here is I will assume negative 2ab equals to negative 30 third 35. All right, then I divide negative 2 for both sides. This one I left with 15, right? So ab equals to 15 third 35. Okay, then here I will do some try and error because A multiply B will get this one. There's so many possibility. Um, so my try and error logic is um, if I have A multiply B, I will get this one. I can assume uh, my A maybe is 3, 7, multiply 5, 3. Or I can say something like um, maybe is uh, no, 7 times 5. Okay, 5, 3, 5. Because you know, get 35. Okay, or I can say something like 3 sub 5 multiply 5 sub 7. I do not know. Or may maybe I can say it's something like 15 multiply 35 or yeah, and so on. You can see there's a lot of possibility. But how, how do we know which one is correct? So normally, because I assume if I do, if this is A, this is B, I square both of them, I must get 220. All right, so let's say if I square 3 7 i square this one i get 9 times 7 which is 63 if i square 5 5 i square it i will get uh, 5 times uh, 25 multiply 5 then i get 125 add together is 188 so which is not 220 so i know this combination cannot then we try about the next uh, combination here so let's say 3 5 I square this one, I should get 9 multiplied 5, which is 45. Alright, then 5 third 7. I square this one, I should get 25 multiplied 7, uh, which is uh, 175. Alright, then I add together. I realize, yeah, 45 plus 175 is 220, isn't it? Okay, now I kind of know uh, this one can be one of it, must be A, another one will be B. But because this one is A minus B, now the next question to me is, which one is plus or which one is minus? Or which one is actually the A and another one is B? Okay, then we, we go back to the square root question. Because the square root question, right, if square root A, I know that A must be bigger than zero because inside the square root, we cannot get any negative value. If we get a negative value, we'll get math error. So over here, you just need to... Uh, imagine which one actually will give you the largest value. So obviously, I know this one will be the largest value, 5, 6, 7. And then this one will be the smaller one. So therefore, the largest value I will assume is A. The smaller value I will assume is B. And B will have the negative. Alright, then if, I, if you can understand this one, I will just write everything in the working here. So over here, I will say this is 5, 6, 7 square min, uh, plus negative of 3 third 5 square and then and then here i have minus 30 third 35 okay then you should be able to see this is a square and this one is 
uh, so called minus b square. Right, so if a square minus b square, we will get the whole thing, isn't it? So I know this one should be square root of 5 third 7 minus 3 third 5 square. Square and square root, I cancel out. Then I guess this one should be my final answer. Alright, so, and then, of course, I have a calculator here I can check, but maybe in the exam, because this question I heard is no calculator is allowed, so you kind of need to do manually. So, if I use this calculator to check for me, the calculator is not possible to leave the answer in the third, I guess. So, they will tell me decimal, uh, 6.52. Alright, so I just type this one, is it equal to 6.52 or not? So 5 third 7 minus 3 third 5. Yeah, I will get 6.52. So i pretty confident this one is the correct answer. Yeah, because this kind of calculator, they cannot leave your answer like this. But if you have some graphical calculator, I, I guess, especially the CAS version, yeah, I guess it's possible to tell you the answer in this form. Anyways, I hope you learned something from this short video on how to solve this kind of complicated square root questions. Anyways, I will see you guys around in my YouTube channel. Bye-bye.